Welcome in to Let's Be Honest, you guys. I'm your host, Kristen Cavallari, and boy, do I have a fun episode for you guys today. I'm sitting here with two people who do not need an introduction, the one and only Heidi and Spencer. Thank Holy you. shit. Thank I'm so you. glad you guys are here. I know. Me too. Okay, so we just went to dinner, yes. I think, two months ago. Yeah. Spencer, when's the last time we saw each other? Was it um, am I supposed to look at the camera? You're not supposed to look at a camera. I mean, like, this is your first time just, doing one of these. It's a beautiful camera, and I'm just like, God, we're in for a real treat you know, today. Just, no, you look at me. That's gonna hurt my neck. <laughs> I can't do what, that. Turn your enough. body yeah, on yeah, the couch. Yeah, just, what are you doing? I have, I'm old. I have back oh, problems. Oh come on, you're not Jeez. that old. Oh my gosh, he tells that to Gunner. I'm like, don't tell your son <laughs> that you're old and you have back problems. Like it's. <laughs> Not comforting for Look, him. You literally Things are, are like, like this oh, frail. Oh. Spencer, we gotta to loosen go to you up a little bit, bud. What's going on here? Nachos and margaritas. Well, maybe maybe oh, no, need a margarita I just right I just now. Stopped. You just stopped all that stuff. Just two days. Two. It's been two uh, days. It's been a few days. Yeah. I'm very proud of you. Yeah. Okay, you're on a new. Summer's home. over. Okay. Time to way. get <laughs> summer's over. So now we gotta that get serious. Isn't summer when you're supposed to be living it up? I was trying to gain weight because Heidi, I knew she had a big hydroxy cut campaign, so I was like. I am going to get a hydroxy cut campaign too. So I was bulking and I then was I pitched myself <laughs> and they were like, no, my God. We wait. only want Heidi. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry. So that it's one, sympathy that, way. That you one, should say so it was sympathy I way, was, which is very, you're so sweet. I it just kept so going. nice of you. Oh. And then I'm on uh, like, you know, fit, like trying to get really fit and not eating all the stuff. And he's still on the sympathy weight. So I think it was, you know, <laughs> yeah. recently. Yeah. Recently. We had friends in town. He kept being like, these people are in town. Anyways. Well, you, like every excuse visit, to yeah. like live it up and people have some fun. People visiting want to go eat nachos with me. They're you not like, them. You have like, to eat let's them. all eat healthy. Before we get into this week's episode, I want to talk to you guys about a clothing brand that I love, Jenny Kane. And perfect timing to talk about this brand because with winter basically here, I am so excited for all things cozy. Jenny Kane is a California brand through and through, and their staples make getting dressed easier than it's ever been before. Think minimalist and effortless, but totally refined. From luxurious cashmere sweaters and iconic accessories to elevated versions of all your everyday basics, not to mention the most incredible home essentials too, Jenny Kane is here to help you live your best holiday season yet. And for our limited time, my listeners get 15% off their first order. Go to JennyKane.com and use the code HONEST to get 15% off. I have this white cashmere sweater that I actually got last year from Jenny Kane that I just pulled out. I am so excited. This cold season is my favorite time of year for all of those cozy sweaters, layering, and just living in these sweaters. I get compliments every time I wear a Jenny Kane sweater and they're so comfortable. I can truly live in them all season long. They're also my absolute favorite thing to gift during the holidays. Speaking of holiday gifting, there's no better stocking stuffer than one or more of Jenny Kane's cashmere accessories. From beanies and gloves to the coziest socks, each is so luxe and guaranteed to be loved. Okay, you guys, gift yourself and your loved ones the best gift of all, Jenny Kane. My listeners get 15% off your first order when you use code HONEST at JennyKane.com. That's 15% off your first order dot com and use code HONEST. Let getting dressed be one less thing to worry about. So you're on this huge health kick right now. Yeah. So what are you doing to get in the best shape of your life? It is so intense being yeah. a mom. Like I knew it was going to be ahead of time, but I'm eating, I'm not eating any sugar, any gluten. I mean, I'm basically eating meat, some fruit, Vegetables. A little bit, some vegetables. Not even a lot of, vegetables. A lot of vegetables. No <laughs> alcohol, right? No alcohol. Are you drinking coffee? I have to have. I mean, God, coffee. it's like take away the alcohol, but don't take away the coffee. Yeah, I mean, and actually, the hydroxy cut helps. Like, oh, okay, right. Well, so I get a yeah, lot of coffee. Yeah, yeah. 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 You guys know it. Like, okay, great. Hydroxy cut for mom in the morning. Oh, Let's go. Man. Yeah, yeah, you're ready. Because extra boost and burning calories. So, Oof, girl. Yeah. Um, the whole thing. But I do think the last time we saw each other was um, when I did an episode of The Hills Reboot, which was almost three years ago, which is actually oh, insane. Right. Yeah. But I was thinking the other day how long we've all known each other. 
I met you my senior year of high school yeah. in 2005 yeah. when you started filming Laguna Beach with us. And I met you right after I graduated because I dated Brody and you guys were best friends. So we've all known each other for like 18, 19 years, which is insane. It's so crazy that one year after I met you first and then you organically met Spencer in a different way. And yep. if it weren't for you, we wouldn't be together. Okay, so how I many really years have you guys so. been together? Is it 16 or 17? 16, right? That is wild, you guys. I was 19 when we met, and then I was 20 when we were official, and I'm 36, so that's 16 years. Oh, it took a year for us to be official? Well, wait, <laughs> wait, I want to know about all of this. Because, yeah, it's okay, a while. First of all, tell the story how you guys met. Obviously, I know I okay. may or may not have had something to do with it, okay. but I want to hear from you guys, and I want to know what your first impressions were of each other. Oh, these are two very different stories. You want to tell your oh, version? Oh, here, here we go. I think we have the same version. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so I'll, you just I'll tell, tell you my yeah. version and you can <laughs> interject your own. It's exactly the same. Um, <laughs> not every time we tell, it's always different. But why don't you leave okay. and then he'll tell his version yeah, and then seriously. come back in? I can't get up and get back in the seat. <laughs> <laughs> my back. back. <laughs> this so, is, so what has happened to you? This is it. <laughs> the second baby it's really cold. just. <laughs> Oh, so I haven't slept in six years, maybe. You yeah. did. You just started not. Anyways, okay, let's tell the story. I just started so sleeping. You just started not sleeping. This is what a year ago. Like, yeah, I mean, so I most, was up with Gunner. Oh, right, so most people who haven't slept in a year, that's like, oh my god. All right, well. So you haven't slept. We in have a, year a five-year-old have... that comes in the room. It's Gunner. Twelve it's times a be. night oh. and goes, "Is it morning yet?" Oh, he comes into my ear. Is it morning yet? <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm like. <sighs> I went through that phase. Jackson Did came you? in every single night. You guys, I'm not kidding, for probably five years. And I was five like, years? There, this is never going to end. All of a sudden, oh, no. it just stopped. It just stopped. Oh, One gosh. night, you're like, holy shit, he didn't come in last night. So it what do you stopped. do? Well, actually, what happened was he started sleeping with Camden in the same room as Cam. I think he has, like, Jackson has like major FOMO and like always has to be with people and be around yeah. people. And so he started sleeping with his older brother and he was I happy. I said, put the baby in with Gunner. <laughs> But the thing Do is, it. the baby sleeps and he doesn't. Yeah, so and so, will wake up the baby. Yeah, he does. He wakes up the baby. We went on vacation. They slept in a room. Oh, cute. And he would be waking up the baby. Yeah, you know? and he's I'm ready like, to party, can't. man. I know, it's hard. Okay, so you're not sleeping. Okay, but let's get back yeah, to, back to where we met. Yeah. how you guys met. Okay, let's be honest. Yeah, let's, let's be, be honest. honest. I love the name. <laughs> so um, I asked you if you knew anyone to hook me up with, right? And this is when I'm dating Brody. Yes, we are dating Brody. Yep. And you're like, no, no, I don't know anyone. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I was sorry. Like, okay, I got no one for you. I don't think, I don't. <laughs> well, no. to be fair, Spencer wasn't like, hook me up with somebody, you know? Yeah, like he was total that's fair. party boy. That I don't know that I bachelor. saw Spencer in like this boyfriend light either. No offense. And he wasn't. We love you. He totally but, wasn't. Yeah. I, I still, <laughs> still shocked. Not tonight. Yeah, yeah. Just, everything is still here. <laughs> where are we? He's not sure where he we are. I dropped him, I think. So what's <laughs> On a daily basis. He's like, yeah, no, what's that story again? Yeah, lady? How did we meet? Somebody help. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so anyways, that makes sense. And then we were in the club and you're like, oh, I do have someone for you because you were there with Spencer. And you're like, there's Spencer. <laughs> And so I look over and yeah, Spencer has like five playmates around I him, can't. and I'm like, okay, I'll just he I like a great. challenge. Yeah, he was, I like a challenge. Yeah, I like I a love challenge. You. But he was like super handsome I and charming, like and of challenge. course everybody loved him yes. because he was oh so sexy See, and the, funny I, and it sounds sweet. Sounds like we have the same version. Yeah, <laughs> similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, real uh, similar. Maybe you tell yours just in case there's I, any discrepancies. I, I think you nailed it. And then we went home to Malibu, all of us, right? We all went back to Brody's house. We all went back to Brody's house. Okay, see, I don't remember that. I don't remember like after the initial meet. So I don't, we went I don't different know from if you. you came oh yeah, back. maybe you didn't come she back. She didn't. No wonder I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't there. She did not. No. Where, why would I not have Brody? come back? Yeah. Brody and I were together. I think but well, that's almost when we were done. You guys met like right at the tail it end was. of Brody you were and I breaking dating. Up so we were not, not in the best place. Right. Like, so maybe yeah. I was like, bye. You were on off going home. Yeah, maybe so. I don't remember. But we went in your car and we went back there. Yeah. Yeah, well, we had an Uber. Uh, right. Uber didn't exist back then, but yeah, 100%. Was, you had a, we had a car. Had a car. <laughs> I did not drive home from the club. So I don't know. Well, your story just got weird. Somebody, I don't know. Someone we got, home. got you. We guys. Somebody got us yeah, home. Yeah, Maybe would, Brody. I Brody used to drive a lot, actually. Yeah, he had yeah. the Cadillac. Yeah. So anyways, we went back. And then we started dating on and off. And then Spencer said to me something like, 
I'm falling in love with something like that. That night? No, like oh. d- uh, like a few weeks later. I don't whatever, think I ever said and that. And, and that I said it to you. you. And I said it to you. You made that and then up. You, no, oh I Leah. did not. You that said was it. My I feel thing. like we're no. in couples therapy right now. And and that, I, like we got to work on your like, shit, oh, you he's in love with me energy. You were. All okay, right, so that's where you were And you said that. I didn't say that. That's why when Kristen said. I'm telling you. Should we move on to a new topic? Oh, I hear you're in love with that. I'm like, what are you talking about? And then, yeah. So then, I, I wouldn't have said, what are you talking about? Like, oh my gosh, of course I'm in so love. So then Spencer <laughs> wanted to do the Cabo. Remember when he had like girls around his waist and he would drop it and catch it with the other hand, drop it and catch it with the other back, hand. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Well, so couldn't anyways. Do, couldn't do the Cabo anymore. So I was like, you know what? I'm over this guy. I'm done. Okay. I'm not going to hang out with him anymore. I changed my phone number, which was did you hard because back of then. Spencer? Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm wow. done. I told everyone, do not anyone, yeah, don't give my number, Changing don't talk my to me. Number. Yeah, she, oh, she went to like a <laughs> store. That's she went a to like boss sprint move. Or whatever. So, bye, <laughs> yeah, fuck you. yeah. I was like, I'm done. I don't even need to like talk to him. I'm d- wow. just done. So then, in the fall, um, he wanted to get on the show. I don't know what your version, what happened. That oh, summer. I like, yeah, what happened? Get the and ball. he started talking to Sean Travis. Oh, wait, no, go, okay, because that, you were filming The Hills. Right, and this what, was season, season two, two. But this was in between. That you guys so first met each other and were camera. hanging out. Right. Yeah. So I think it happened more organically than that. I think I was with Brody and Nicole Richie at Chateau Marmont, mm-hmm. and Sophia was best friends with Nicole. And I think... Nicole was like, oh my gosh, Adrina is looking for somewhere to like meet up. And they were like, tell her to come here. So then you weren't getting along with Adrina. And that was very clear to me in the few minutes of the conversation. I was like, I should show up with you on the show because Heidi changed her number and... So that's right. Wait, that's and so, how you came on to the hills was with Audrina? Mm-hmm. But right then, I Sophia did not was like, know that. <laughs> Sophia was like, hey, Spencer wants your number. And I was like, don't give Spencer my number. I want nothing to do with Spencer. Sophia, the producer. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Also, like, a cast member that didn't film. You guys, um, I never knew that. I never knew that you came. Because, to be honest, I never watched the hills until I was on it <laughs> because right. um I was a movie star <laughs> no i think because i was jealous actually to be honest because the hills was blowing up and i was trying to take acting seriously and i was like i don't want to be part of reality i don't want to be in the tabloids but like definitely a part of me obviously saw all of the attention that you guys were getting so i never watched it so i never knew that you came on the show with audrina so what the fuck did you think when you saw that <laughs> well i was i don't know i th- at that moment i was so mad but i also we had like a few run-ins right before there or around there like i was dating some people and some people that he kind of knew and i was like it wasn't even the point that i don't know it was just like i I was already not getting along with adrena okay and we just had heard that she was hanging out with jason waller all summer (laughs) and we were like of course adrena just wants to go after everyone else's leftovers type of thing (laughs) oh my my gosh she's so desperate so I wasn't sure what to do, but like a part of me was so excited to see Spencer because yeah. I oh, loved God. Spencer. Like even from the minute I met him, yeah. I wanted to marry Spencer. I remember that. I was infatuated with him. Like there was nothing and nobody that ever gave me like those sparks and that feeling. And oh. I was just like, oh, I love him. This is so annoying that I, I love him I was just talking so much. about like that chemistry. You, yeah. can't, you can't buy that. Like you can't find that everywhere. Right. When you have that is the most special thing on the planet. Yeah. What are you going to say? It's that true. That's why I'm <laughs> sitting on this couch. <laughs> it's, uh, okay, so- it's priceless. <laughs> okay, guys, a brand that I'm always so excited to talk to you about is Element. Element helps anyone stay hydrated without the sugar and other dodgy ingredients found in popular electrolyte and sports drinks. Electrolyte deficiency or imbalance can cause headaches, cramps, fatigue, brain fog, and weakness. Element is a zero sugar electrolyte drink mix born from the growing body of research revealing that optimal health outcomes occur at sodium levels two to three times government recommendations. Each stick pack delivers a meaningful dose of electrolytes free of sugar, artificial colors, or other dodgy ingredients. Element is formulated for anyone on a mission to restore health through hydration and is perfectly suited for athletes, folks who are fasting, or those following keto, low-carb, whole food, or paleo diets. I actually think I have one every single day because I usually put one in my water when I work out, which is 
five days a week, typically. Or if I'm going in the sauna, I'll make sure that I have one. If you've had a few extra drinks, these always come in handy. If I know I'm going to be going out, I will actually have one before I go out and then the next morning as well. And I swear by them. So you guys, you're definitely going to want to check them out. Go to drinklmnt.com slash honest to receive a free element sample pack with any order when you purchase through my URL. And remember guys, you can try it totally risk-free. If you don't like it, give it away to a salty friend and they'll give you your money back. No questions asked. Skincare experts and dermatologists have long touted the benefits of increased indoor humidity for healthy, glowing skin. A not so fun fact, having dry air in your environment can begin wrecking havoc on the skin in as little as 30 minutes. For a long time, I've been using a humidifier for my skin, my sleep, and just overall wellness. But the problem, traditional models are notorious for being bulky, ugly, they get moldy, and they're impossible to maintain. That's where Canopy Humidifier comes in. Recommended by leading dermatologists, Canopy Humidifier is a completely reimagined humidifier that elevates your home for the ultimate in skincare and wellness benefits. The Canopy Humidifier's clean moisture combats dryness, sensitivity, dullness, and fine lines and wrinkles. This humidifier promotes a healthy skin barrier and increases the efficacy of your topical skincare products. Visible mist from traditional humidifiers is unhealthy due to particles and bacteria being carried by the water into the air. Canopy's mist-free hydration is invisible, clean moisture, which is the best kind for your skin and health. Canopy's humidifier has an antimicrobial filter that catches irritating materials, bacteria, and other nasty stuff from the water before it's evaporated into your environment. You'll also never have to worry about mold. Canopy utilizes a unique technology that keeps the humidifier running until there's no water left inside the unit. No water left inside means no mold. And the easiest part, Canopy goes right into the dishwasher. Canopy humidifier also has a built-in aroma diffuser that uses the simple, healthy process of evaporation to fill your room with scented moisture. Go to getcanopy.co to save $25 on your Canopy humidifier purchase today with Canopy's filter subscription. Even better, use code HONEST at checkout to save an additional 10% off your Canopy purchase. Trust me, guys, your skin will thank you. So when did you guys become serious? So then we like did a lot of games on and off camera. And I think it was just magnetic. And we we were both like, all right, should we give this? Should we give this a try and like get on the same team? You said no first. So what you asked her to like be. Well, because she was always talking smack. And like, (laughs) so I was like, okay, like, do you want to be official? And she's like, no, no, that's too bad. I'm like, okay. And then like. I don't know, a day later, a week later, a month later, she's like, about what you were saying. <laughs> and then she almost later. like rear-ended okay. That's my memory. She almost like hit a car as she was like making this. So that's my one memory of her. Like, oh, that's almost cute. fender bending. Uh, don't you guys love that? Because I feel like back in the day. It was on Fairfax. What? I remember it was on Fairfax. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> I just fully painting the picture yeah. for us. I appreciate that. Don't go there So now. I feel like. People back in the day would have put money on the fact that you guys would not still be together, right? So how good does that feel? And what would you say to those people? Take it away, Spence. I was say, what a great question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's like uh, one of my friends, King Kevin, used to say to people when we were, or not people, to his fiance when we she didn't want us at her wedding, he said, oh um, he said, so you believe in Santa Claus? And she's like, huh? She's like, well, if you believe what you see on reality TV, then you must believe in Santa Claus. And that quote always sticks with me that that. it's kind of, you know, nowadays that's more like, duh. But back then it was like, this is real. But the reality is anyone who really thought about it, it's like, okay, there's cameras, there's microphones, people are getting paid. If you watch all the credits, like story editor, story for like this many names, but it's real. So. That's Obviously, a good point. they lied to everybody, I and mean, that's why they. I think because they, you know, I don't, not us, but maybe someone was going to sue, and then to get out of the lawsuit, they did that alternate ending that showed like, no, this was fake with Brody, and I oh, think that was to really? protect the fact that it's my conspiracy to make it so you could never sue and ex- like. Because they were like, well, we said, yeah, that- we said it was all <gasps> fake. It's my theory. Okay, I like that theory. I think like you come I, up with good theories, <laughs> Spencer's. 
currently <laughs> listening to conspiracy. I'm uh, all for not it. Not a conspiracy. I'm JFK all for it. Was, it's not a conspiracy. All right, hundred percent. Well, uh, we can do another uh, podcast yeah, on yeah, conspiracy yeah. theories. So it's not a conspiracy theory. Yeah, it came true. Yeah, like, it's true. Uh, <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was very factual. <laughs> do you think the Earth is flat too? That I can't get into. I don't know. I'm seeing all these TikToks no, lately. TikTok I'm like, maybe. Have you me. <laughs> like, TikTok I, the is moon ruining landing, my world. TikTok is definitely ruined the moon landing for me. <laughs> we definitely went down like, that dark path years ago. How did they make that ago? phone call to the White House from the moon? I know. Like, I'm like, shit, you're oh. right. And what happened to the camera crew after they left? They got them getting out of there, leaving the moon. It's, but where the camera guys very, go? I was like, that's right, this is not the to, podcast for this. Yeah, back to what we were saying. What are we um, talking about? Okay, so yeah, you guys being together after all of these oh, years later. Yes. So doesn't that feel so good for all of those haters? I think for me, it was just the biggest life payoff because I really <laughs> gambled everything at that time. You know, like I was losing my best friend. I was, you know, jeopardizing probably not being on a TV show. I was jeopardizing my uh, reputation. I mean, everything, you know? So it's like for me, when I felt in my heart that that was my soulmate. I think it's safe to say you guys have been through your fair share of really negative press, especially mm -hmm. in the height of the hills. So I would imagine that going through that together probably brought you guys closer. Was it nice to be able to have one another to lean on during all of that? Yeah, and I think also <laughs> we created a lot of it together. You know what I mean? Okay, like right, there was, right. So it wasn't just like all of a sudden we were swarmed, you know, it's like, okay, it's a little here, this a little there. This is coming next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you just feel like you're almost in two different worlds. You know, you're behind the scenes making money and right. moves and strategies. And then definitely at a point, it was like, wow, this has gotten out of control. And how do we pivot out of this? And now right. it's permanent. And, you know, every season two after the show, they'd be like, oh, next season's your redemption season. This is your redemption. Oh, that's what they would tell you guys. Right. So we always thought that we would have a chance to, like, redeem the audience and to change it around. And it just never <clears throat> played out. And we didn't watch it enough either oh, to really see what was happening. Because, first of all, we were busy. And second of all, we just didn't really care. I mean, we we're just making so much money and right. we knew like the truth. And obviously sometimes we disagree about storylines and things that would be happening. But well, I got to tell you though, the two seasons that I did, everyone in my life was like, Heidi and Spencer are the best part of the show. They're the comedic relief. Like, I mean, this is like my mom even said that too. Oh like gosh. people thought you- I was gonna you, say, you, guys, you have great people around you. <laughs> people that get it. Yeah, clearly. I like yeah. your mom. You guys, you were, you were so funny. Like I remember the last, maybe it was the last season with the little kid neighbor or something that you guys- Enzo. 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 Like the show was hilarious. You gotta find yeah. that kid. So anyways, I do think people, people- Anyone knows where Enzo is, I really want to do a TikTok with him. You should. Everyone would go viral. That's all people want to know. Is where where is Enzo? Enzo? He's gotta be so old now. He has to be in like, yeah. I knows? think he went to back to Brazil. He wasn't born here. <laughs> and yeah, so he's not even that. here anymore. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay, I want to get into y'all's marriage because we all know that a marriage, well, any relationship has ups and downs. So I'm curious in those down moments, how do you guys pull through and get through it? Oh, you're pointing at me. I'm the down. <laughs> Here's the down. We'll have How the do you pour yourself out? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, cry baby. Oh my God. <laughs> What's it like eating pie? Um, no, um, you know, Heidi is pretty positive. So that helps. She know? is. Yeah. So that, you know, so I, that, don't, I don't know how she <laughs> does it, but I, I know when she tells me like, suck it up. Get your shit together. Like, you have lots of great things going on for you since. Okay, so I focusing mean, on gratitude. Yeah, she's very on the good things like, in your life. We have our health, Spencer. <laughs> you know, Not you for long, apparently. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> That's right. We can breathe. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I mean, we have air. That's so know, great. Like there have been why, times yeah. in this world where there was a nuclear war and people can't go outside. And if there's fires and things yeah, happening, it's I mean, like sure. air. Nuclear is. war. We had nuclear. <laughs> I, mean, war. I don't know about the nuclear. Um, nuclear there was threats of wait, nuclear honey, war. There's silo, been fires. With silo. We stopped watching that. That's on Apple Plus. Okay. <laughs> there were threats. There's right. been threats. Uh, absolutely. Yes, there, there's there been was fires an atomic bomb. and the air okay. quality no. has been yeah. very poor. Right. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Heidi's very. So she keeps it. She's, she's, keeps it together. If it weren't for Heidi, it would be dark. <laughs> there, there Thank two, God for Heidi. There are two sensors. We just a lot of whining. Uh, well, I, one thing I do yeah. remember is when I did the Hills reboot with you guys, Heidi, you were talking about how you were keeping it spicy in the bedroom and it was like lingerie and 
correct me if I'm wrong. I want to say that you said you guys were having sex at least every day. Well, she's if, trying to have a baby. She oh, played, that's what she it was. She's trying out. to have a baby. <laughs> she was a big con. Okay, okay so now that, now that she's got the baby, it's like, okay, yeah, yeah. 16 well, years later, was, there's not like a one-year con. Okay, oh, no, it was it's like a like, one-year, like, whoa, times have changed. But you liked oh that. Gosh. Like, you were into that. That was one of the best years of my life. The best years of my life. So are oh you still gosh. doing any of that stuff? Like, how do you keep it spicy and exciting? Because you guys, after 16 years and two kids, it's really hard. Well, like Spencer said, I have a timer. <laughs> <laughs> what does that no, mean? I mean, definitely we try <laughs> to be intimate. She gets a stopwatch out. She's like, I don't, I don't. <laughs> You have a really good mental block. <laughs> so I, I don't. How long are you giving him? <laughs> well, it just depends on how tired I am and what You're time. literally like, Spencer, I'm exhausted. I'm, like, can we wrap this I'm up? Like, I'll meet this you later. I can't come. come. I don't know we why come, I can't come. We've come a long way. I mean, do you have shares or not? Um, it's your, <laughs> so why you got to do it during the day? Because at I night, know, yeah, like when I was married and with kid, little kids, I was like, no, I'm going to sleep right this second. It's so hard. It's, you got to find tiring. different times. But definitely, you know, throughout the week, it's like, it's several times a week. You guys so are still having least. sex several times yeah. a week. Yes. Well, my hat's off to you, goddamn it! It's been sixteen oh years, and you guys, and you have a baby, no yeah. less. And he, Heidi says not a baby anymore. He's, he seems like how old is he? Almost, he's almost one. That's a fucking baby. She says we don't even have a baby. Like oh, she's saying well, yeah. that's a baby. <laughs> That's a baby. He's, he's a toddler like now. He's a toddler. Like, Emotionally, it doesn't feel like he's this newborn. Are you, you guys going to have any more kids? I feel like, Spencer, you're done. Why do you feel that way? I don't know. I, when I first saw you, you are like, dude, it was really, oof, put me over. Actually, I think you said it when we started recording, too. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Oh, I, feel like Heidi, I feel like, Heidi, you would have 100 kids. Yeah, that's why she's not I, rational about the situation. I'll just keep popping them like, <laughs> Three's really fun, guys. Just saying. I think if we lived somewhere else, I definitely would want three. Yeah. And I would definitely be pushing like, hey, I want one more because obviously I'm going to want another <laughs> one. But realistically, like financially and being in L.A. and wanting the boys to both have such good opportunities and yeah. being able to each have one of us. So at this point, I think two is such a blessing and to have two of them. But you never know God's plan. Yep. And at this point, I would say, yeah, we're... we're are you on birth control? You know how much, yeah, kinder- are. You know how much kindergarten costs in L.A.? Yeah, I can imagine. Well, I mean, because we're in public school. Yeah, oh, right. but it's okay. forty-four thousand dollars. Pri- private school is that's insane. Imaginary. That's not what we're paying. For. By the way, it is in know, Nashville too. It's expensive. Anywhere. I would have liked our sons to go to private school. Public school. We should have different jobs. Should have different jobs then. I agree. You <laughs> I should be a dentist. Good work to me the other day, mm-hmm. mom. You should be a dentist to make more money for us. Oh my God. Because when are you getting a job? I know. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> geez, we're selling, ready for you to get massages a job. right now. He just <laughs> puts that. on a little stick and he just covers you in we lotion. Love that. We love that. Hey, that's more than my so touching because I got yeah. a little concerned. He's like, oh, I'm doing massage. And I was like, oh, I need, what is happening? What, I've got to look into this. And then he has a stick and he's like, he's like, like, hey, cool. people, oh, I was like, lotion at keep you. doing that. That's, I like that. Yeah. I know, at least he's doing something, you know. He's working. We like that. Working harder than me. There you go. So I want to know what your favorite thing about each other is. And then also the one thing that just irks you about each other. Dang, the list is so long. Spencer. No, I mean, I have so many. I'll go. Oh. Wow, you sure have yours quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love, one of my favorite things about Spencer is how funny he is. <sighs> He's yeah. so funny. I love being with him. He's I was going to say so that fun. about you. So oh, okay. you took mine. <laughs> okay. Um, um, and then. That's a good one. Hmm. All right. You only do one. Oh, okay, you go. are. Okay. No, you're, you're, I'll gonna, think about that. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. You do. That one's going to be that hard. That one I got to think about. <laughs> yeah. sure. He's so perfect. I just can't um, come up with anything. I would say <laughs> my favorite thing about Heidi besides how funny she is is how loving Okay, she is. I love that. I know it's yep. very basic. Sounding, no, that's important. She is way more <laughs> like obviously that's what and especially keeps as this a marriage mom. so amazing because yeah. she's so caring and loving and well, it's more like selfless. She's always concerned about every not just me, her Kids. everybody, friends, yeah. family. So very like that's I love very, that. Uh, it is very true. You are yeah. very loving. You so are that and what irks me about her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right here. Uh, Crank that you out. Know, yeah. Maybe she done the first It's one. <laughs> one of my favorite things to like troll at this point. Now I don't do it. I can't wait to I hear don't this. Do it on purpose. But 
And it doesn't irk me because it. Now just spit it out. Just. I am not allowed to have anything out anywhere. Like, oh, like, okay. So she's very, mm. she's a neat freak. Like, no, I mean, if I'm drinking the water, I haven't finished it. That glass is gone. That was oh. years ago. I will tell you what irks me about you too. This what do you mean that's years thing. ago? Spencer he leaves his socks. He leaves out everything. He won't even put a paper towel in the trash. Oh, oh I, did I did yesterday. yesterday. And it had your retainers in it. <gasps> he so, threw away your retainers. So no, that's and it was a perfect out. example of it why flat, I don't. Spencer. No, it was it was over the wind. Did you get the retainers back? I've dealt with this a lot with my kids. Many my retainer, retainers have been thrown away. I'm just saying safe. that's a perfect example of why okay, I wouldn't throw paper towels Okay, but your own paper towel. So I he'll reuse, have a good example. I I'll reuse I'll them literally have 10 paper towels and he says, I reuse them. I'm like, no, you don't. I just I do. have to throw I, them like, away. This needs... So I have to walk around the house cleaning up trash everywhere. I'm like, I don't have time for this. You no. now oh, need so to just irks throw your stuff It doesn't seem like your irks. Like, or just put your own dish in the dishwasher. I like I know just it. don't get it. What is why? It's I empty. Think it, 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 I've like met very few men in my life who can actually just clean up after themselves. And I'm not being an asshole. I'm not trying to generalize. I'm just calling spade a spade, okay? <laughs> it's just it's, yeah, and it's you don't need another kid. Right, but also <laughs> like I had time for that back in the day and I would clean up. Okay, how many cups do you have out? Here's your one. Keep it, but you don't need the 10. And it's like, great. 10 but seems excessive. <laughs> right, so I'm like, well, Spencer's a little like, you know. So anyways, it. we have the same irking thing. Wait until you have to try to train your kids to put their dishes in the dishwasher. Gunner does I'm like, it. You got, what? He'll do it. I, he's like, here, dad. Come he'll over even and say, teach my kids. He'll even say, hey, dad, watch this. I'm like, great, show See, him. Sailor, this summer, she, for you know, chore money, she was doing all of the dishes, which was so nice. It was the first time that any of my kids have done a dish. And I was like, wow, this is, this is nice. <laughs> What's tour money for Taylor? I was just about to ask. Uh, sailor, chore money. Chore. Chore. Oh, I was sure. like, tour money. I was like, Taylor's <laughs> tickets are a lot, but you know. <laughs> Sailor's going on tour. <laughs> uh, no, I thought to buy thought tickets no, for No, no, no. Yeah, no. Um, okay, I want to know, after this conversation especially, what a normal day looks like for you guys from the time you wake up. Just a normal day. To the time you go to bed, who's doing what, what does it look like? Because honestly, I really feel like people think that you guys live these really big, loud, glamorous lives. I actually think you guys are very normal and live very just normal lives. So walk me through that. The normal oh, day, I usually wake up with Riker. Okay. At between what time? Break it down. 5.30 to 6. Okay. And he, actually before that, it starts at whatever time Gunner's waking up, one of us is taking him back to bed. Gunner's so like up, up before that? Gunner is up all night right now. Oh, right, okay. Like, okay. So then whenever I get some sleep in between there, Riker wakes up at four. <clears throat> Put his pacifier in. Damn. I'm not supposed to, but I need that like snooze. 100%. So then he sleeps till like, yeah, between five, 5.30. I, I'm, I'm going in and out of his room from five until he wakes up, six, whatever. Damn. Then I go upstairs <clears throat> and I give him a bottle and then I play with him and he's so cute on the mm. floor and everything. And then whenever Gunnar comes out, I ha start breakfast for him. I usually make pancakes or French toast and I give Riker his breakfast, which is like yogurt, whatever it is. I have my tea. Then Spencer Wait, gets up. Wait, where's the coffee? Whenever, I thought you were drinking coffee. Whenever Spencer gets up, okay, I get okay, the coffee. Okay, I'll be patient. That's why I have the tea first. I know. I'm like, I'll have the tea. I can make the tea. You're so nice to wait for him. And then, I, well, he is the barista. Oh, okay. I'll make it. I make, wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Makes I wait sense. to put makes my sense. order in. A good barista is like, Mwah. Yeah. I miss that about yeah. my oh. ex. <laughs> oh, he was a barista. He was a good coffee maker. Mm. Yeah. I've learned to it's do it key. on my own. I don't need no man. Yeah, yeah. I'm an independent woman. Yeah. I make my own damn coffee. I can do it, but I'll, I'll wait. It's the one thing I get from you know served so important. take it Fucking actually live it usually, up. he makes breakfast too he's really good at breakfast okay. so he'll do that sometimes depending on the time it's about to be school we'll get Gunnar off to school and then I come back if it's Monday Wednesday Friday I do a workout if it's well now I'm doing a workout Tuesday Thursday I put Riker down at nine he takes a nap for like an hour hour and a half then I'm up with him bottle, food, yep. playtime. I want to take him for a hike, take him for a walk, take him outside, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Gunner gets out of school. Where is Spencer during all this? <laughs> What's he doing right now? <laughs> I don't uh, know. I where are to, you? We don't know. I was trying to figure Spencer, out. Spencer's right. lost. We don't where know. am I in this uh, day? <laughs> I don't know. You just got to do your own thing. So I guess you're going to do your own version of what your normal day is like. I sound like I'm part of this. I just try to figure out where I am. You're, you're there for coffee. I did the coffee. <laughs> He's um, in and out. 
<laughs> you I'd can probably, dip in I'd and probably out. texted her a couple of TikToks. Okay, great. Oh, me a few times. Keeps you laughing out. with those uh, TikToks. Right. He's, yeah. he's in and out. He made breakfast. <laughs> I love this. Uh, he'll take Gunner to school. Okay, that's nice. Often. Okay. Yeah, so now he does that. Okay. And then, um, but, you know, dinner. Yep. Oh, it's <laughs> weird. Just... You guys don't do anything in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, the, I, I applaud that. All right, and <laughs> then it's dinner. Awesome. And then, then we go to bed. <laughs> I want to live this yeah, life. Very basic Actually, life. I don't. I don't miss those early wake ups with babies. Uh, I do not. I know. Wait, who's making dinner? Are you guys? Are you making dinner Spencer every night? Usually now makes dinner. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Okay, so Spencer's the chef. Yeah, oh. Chef Pratt. We got Chef meat. Pratt. In We're the house. having ground meat or steak. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Those are regulars in my house too. <laughs> meat and rice. <laughs> <laughs> that's our special this is great and do you guys have like a cocktail at night are you like sitting there like look at these children that we've made with like a cocktail <laughs> our life not is so right beautiful now. not right now well for the last four days uh, no Just it's been almost you're... three weeks for me do you guys live in the same house like I don't know. <laughs> sometimes I'm like you, hi I'm I don't think you guys are on the same two weeks, two weeks. Is Colorado it two? Let me is two weeks ago <clears throat> let me look Okay, while you're looking for that, I want to ask this you guys. Three coming up. It's what? We're in three. All right. That's Today's good. three. Right. Of what? Being sober? Yeah. Okay, right. <laughs> yeah. Do you have tea at night? So we and used like, to drink great this wine is. every night. And so you were drinking every night. With a baguette oh, and wow. cheese. Okay. And watching okay. Silo, and watching shows. Wow. What time succession. do the kids go to bed? And then trying to have some intimate sexual time. Trying to have sex. Yeah, then trying to have I, sex. I applaud you guys. You guys, your life you know, sounds pretty yeah. fucking and, awesome. I'm and, not going to lie. And it is several times a week. So, <laughs> you know, I got I mean, an guys, if I told you the lack of sex that I've had in the last three and a half years, you would be like, I feel so bad for Definitely you. Get so that enjoy vibrator. it while you have it. Running a busy household can be pure chaos and stressful. I'm over here balancing three kids' schedules, basketball, horseback riding, you know, trying to make dinner every night. It's a lot, especially with kids. Well, if you guys can relate, then boy, do I have a gift for you. The best gift under the tree that will give you and your loved ones peace of mind and more joy to enjoy the things and people that matter most. Well, that is the Skylight Calendar. The Skylight Calendar is a smart touchscreen calendar and organizer for all of your chores, groceries, and to-dos. It automatically syncs up all the different digital calendars and events your family uses and shows them all together on one beautiful touchscreen display. Skylight Calendar is the best way to give your family peace of mind to enjoy the things that matter most. The Skylight Calendar is super easy to set up and to use. It works by syncing events from already existing calendars you have, including Google, Outlook, and Apple calendars. You can also add events directly using the touchscreen or with the free Skylight mobile app. Events are color-coded, so you can visually map out your family's plans for the week into beautiful color-coded time blocks. Easily manage household tasks with the chore chart feature. Kids love being able to check off chores and watching their progress bar update. And when they complete their chores, there's an emoji celebration. Parents love how this helps teach their kids responsibility and time management. As a special limited time offer for my listeners, get 15% off your purchase of a Skylight calendar when you go to skylightcal.com slash honest. To get $15 off your purchase of a Skylight calendar, just go to skylightcal.com slash honest. That's S-K-Y-L-I-G-H-T-C-A-L dot com slash honest. We've all been there trying to fit everything we think we might need for a trip only to end up with a suitcase bursting at the seams. <laughs> with base, there's room for everything. 15 pairs of underwear for a weekend trip? No problem. Deciding between a few pairs of shoes? Bring them all. Base was created by actress Shay Mitchell to make sleek and affordable bags, luggage, and accessories designed to help you travel effortlessly while still looking fashionable. Base has thought of everything you could ever want in a piece of luggage. 360-degree gliding wheels, a cushioned handle, built-in weight indicator, washable bags for your dirty clothes, and all the interior pockets you need to keep organized. Their luggage comes in multiple sizes and colors, and for shorter trips, the Weekender bag is super functional and even has a place to store your shoes separately. I can attest to that because I just recently used the Weekender bag for a little staycation here in Nashville. Every piece is made to look better with miles, so you don't have to worry about it in cargo or overhead, and Base has over 30,000 five-star reviews. 
Whether you're packing for a quick trip or looking to breeze through the security line, Base has your personal items covered. And right now, Base is offering my listeners 15% off your first purchase by visiting basetravel.com slash honest. Go to basetravel.com slash honest for 15% off your first purchase. That's B-E-I-S travel.com slash honest. All right. You guys know that I'm always on the lookout for ways to strengthen immunity and gut health, improve my fitness and metabolism, and enhance my skin and hair radiance. Well, I recently discovered an incredible product, Armra Colostrum. I love colostrum. I feel like it's going to be the next new thing in health because it's so good for your gut. It's so good for your skin, your nails. It's so good for everything, you guys. Colostrum is the first nutrition we receive in life, and it contains all of the essential nutrients our bodies need in order to thrive. Armra colostrum is a proprietary concentrate of bovine colostrum that harnesses over 400 living bioactive nutrients that rebuild the barriers of your body and fuel cellular health for a host of researched backed health benefits. It strengthens immunity, ignites metabolism and fortifies gut health, activates hair growth and skin radiance, powers fitness performance and recovery, and confers powerful anti-aging benefits. Armra is a premium bovine colostrum concentrate, unlike any other product on the market. It's wholly natural, sustainable, and was developed with the highest integrity from start to finish. Some of the benefits that you can expect with the colostrum is it reactivates hair growth and glowing skin. It fortifies gut health and ignites your metabolism. It can combat bloating and just feeling lighter. Okay, you guys, I've worked out a special offer for my audience. Receive 15% off your first order. Go to tryarmra.com slash honest or enter honest to get 15% off your first order. That's T-R-Y-A-R-M-R-A.com slash honest. Okay. Like I said earlier, I do think you guys are some of the most down to earth, normal people. I really think. A hot take. It, you know, <laughs> no, no, no. Well, like, well, normal maybe. No, no, no. Yeah. You guys are like super normal people. You guys are just like everybody else. I don't know what your day sounds like. We're, like we are, we're we just are. like you. We're yeah. just, just like, like you guys at home. Weekly. <laughs> no, but I think because people always ask, anytime your names come up in conversation, people are like, oh my God, are they as crazy as they were on the show? And I'm like, no, they're not. They mm. just un- understood the assignment, which right. is something that all three of us, I think have always yeah. really related to each other on. We were there to film a TV show. If we're not bringing it, there's no TV show. Right. And you have more fun when you bring it. A hundred percent. But with that comes a lot of misconceptions. So what is the bis- biggest misconception about you guys that you think is out there? I'm, I would say they're all pretty... Um on brand i don't know you know i don't really I don't no think so you guys, anything's like that seems outrageous. all logical like you know based so you off th- our behavior you think that your character on the show is very true to who you are no i think it, like the lunacy of it is right but that's what i mean i, I think mean the, the fact whole... that people thought we had such a tumultuous relationship is the biggest misconception okay like yeah. all the fighting <clears throat> it's like we could never have sustained a relationship being in that kind of relationship for sure and it's understandable because we did play it out and we played it up and you know uh, when you're like going through things sometimes it starts feeling real and being real too like you know if i really saw spencer flirting with someone i'm gonna really get upset because i'm like even though that was the plan even though if it's the plan no i know but still it becomes real it's like okay now i'm really it sounds fun to do a plan and then you do (laughs) it like "Mm -mm." and then you step back and you're like oh that was the plan and you know so it can get that way. And so then that does come across well. Like when Spencer just sent me the TikTok of Gerard Butler saying when he was in 300, how he got so into the character. Like you you mm. understand, you know, the acting becomes part of that. So the, the misunderstanding of us having such a, um, a fighting relationship, yeah. you know, because the truth is it was the act, exact opposite in real life. Right. Like we go home and have a normal life and watch movies and be in the music studio. And Spencer's always been my biggest cheerleader yeah. and advocate. And so I think that was the biggest and the hardest part is that Spencer's actually like one of the most selfless people and like such a teammate and, um, you know, such a 
he has no ego attached to it. He just wants like success and what's the yeah. best. And he's so smart. And he has a plan. And, you know, it's always so strategic. It's not like this crazy, wild. Right. It's like, no, Spencer is, you know, very meticulous and, yes. you know, um, calculated. So the that <clears throat> that's always frustrating that he kind of got the brunt of, you know, the, the negative yeah. portion of it when he was, you know, I would say the key success of that show continuing at that moment. Uh, yeah. You know, it's not, I didn't make this up. It was on MSN, the, the media outlet, but there's a <laughs> list of who actually ended up being the villain of the Hills and who was MSN it? news. They, it wasn't me. I'm not going to say who the was person's it? name. Was it me? No. Oh, okay. Okay. But I, you know, I don't want to say that. I got name. you. I'm picking up what you're throwing the, down. The narrator of the show actually they said, was oh, the villain. Wow. You, you check Google. On Yahoo, this just came Listen, out. This is this I'm breaking not, my, news. Like, yeah. Actually, my Wi Fi is not working. I'll send I'm you the link. I have it as my, uh, oh, sorry, back oh, screensaver. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you right now. So that could be a misconception. You okay. Know, if you okay. look really. If you know. Okay. I think. But that's just the media, you know. I think today's world is very different than it was when the hills was on when laguna beach was on mm -hmm. i think some of the stuff that happened then people see it in a very different light now that's all i'm gonna say about that subject yeah we'll i on. totally <laughs> but I'm, to your point though about again it goes back to if your guys's relationship on the show is perfect there is no story and your point to him right. flirting i remember when i came on brody and i had like a fake relationship and he and jade pretended like they broke up and brody and i were dating they were together the entire time i still to this day am like how was jade okay with that yeah. i wouldn't have been i could have yeah. never done what you did where my real boyfriend is pretending to go and flirt with a girl or whatever yeah. it would have driven me crazy there was a point <laughs> where i was like okay we're getting married and I'm done with this. For like, sure. You know, I don't want to have these fake stories. I was like, I'd rather just not be on the show anymore than continue yeah. doing this at this point. Like, we've done it. We did that work. It's the same thing over and over. Like, Spencer always said, why didn't I flirt with a guy or whatever? It's like the the continual Spencer flirting with other girls and not being into Heidi. Because Heidi like, I'm is a it. really good flirt. So she, she could have knocked. It, she could have knocked that scene. Like, so out. Sorry, like, they were filming the wrong flirt. Okay? Damn it! If only yeah. you could go back in time. I keep no, saying this was they, Spencer's pitch the other day. So I'm just re. No, my pitch the other day. If they wanted to hit show, they would have filmed Heidi. Not no. like they didn't film Heidi. Like the Heidi that was playing all her games with me and had, you know. Heidi and I talked yeah. about at dinner two months ago. We're like. Yeah. We should do a show. <laughs> like, but we, it's like, yeah, I we've know. got kids. Like, we can't. We know what know. it takes to have a good show. You can't do it anymore. It's hard because, yeah, when you're on it, you want the success and you want it and you're yeah. being paid. And that's the hard thing, too, when you're a professional person. It's like not showing up to work. Exactly. It's like they're paying you to be a personality, to yeah. do a certain job. And if you don't show up, first of all, you're not working again. Exactly. Yeah, they also, and then it's like, what have you? What was your last show? What did you do? Yeah, they were also really good at negotiating back then because you'd be like, oh, I don't think we want to do that. I'm like, that's fine. You won't be on that episode yeah. and you won't be paid. And then you're like, hmm, <laughs> that was good negotiating. Okay, we'll do it. You yeah, know, like, like, we were in Costa Rica and they're like, if you want another season, you're going to have to make out with that guy. And I was like, fine, I'll take over the team. <laughs> <laughs> like, sure, I'll do it. Yeah, and he totally. was gay. He didn't know until after I made out with him. That's but. neither here nor there. <laughs> okay, I want to play a quick game with you guys to wrap things up. Okay, uh, the game is called... Right. Um, Two truths and one lie. Okay. And what we're going to do is you guys are going to tell me three facts about yourselves okay. as outrageous as you want them to be. But one is going to be a lie. And I have to try to guess which one is not true. Okay. All right. Heidi can make him up. Okay. Okay. Heidi's got this. I don't know. Because you guys are going to with me. You, you guys can have some uh, crazy fucking truths. I said so like... to you, you can come up with them. All right. Okay. I didn't want the pressures. And in no particular order. <laughs> okay. We... Once <laughs> I can't, I can't. spent our last money on a one-way trip to Costa Rica with all of our dogs and our belongings, thinking okay. we'd never return to oh, America. Wow. Okay. Okay. I had my back shaved surgically. Holy fuck. See, I knew you would have good ones. <laughs> <laughs> And this is why I told you to come up with them. I'm already like, I don't know. I'm like, I like sushi. <laughs> <laughs> um, I still, to this day, have one of the top 
three best-selling Us Weekly covers? I believe that. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going to go with Costa Rica not being true. Oh, wait, one's supposed to be alive. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, <didn't know. laughs> I said all three. Well, all right, that's fine. We just Howdy, learned a lot about you guys. Game. Yeah, good job. We just learned a lot about you guys. Wait, holy I shit. I forgot to lie. What oh, Us God, Weekly hard, cover was hey, it? What? what Us Weekly cover was it? Um, Why I Called, why off, I called off My Wedding. wedding. Oh. It's not top three. It's number one. Oh, honey. it's number one. Number Holy one. Okay, shit. One. Look number at one. you. Wait, let me think of one more. <laughs> no, it's too fucking late. Now I know. <laughs> okay, here's, I want to give, Spencer, I'm going to give you an assignment. <laughs> totally forgot. So, grab my like feet class. tonight. <laughs> okay, or you could, we could do, you do it now. you have two EMF stickers on your laptop? I do. <laughs> just just <laughs> in case one. You need one, one on my right oh, no, You just, need one here. Oh, we're safe next to her. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I even have like. You don't like, wear the necklace? I don't wear the necklace, but I have like a portable thing uh -huh. in my bag. Like, you're, I love when safe. someone recognizes uh -huh. an EMF. <laughs> that is She's so funny. totally. Oh, you should see my house. Anyways, okay. Okay, because I set you guys up, right? And it's been so successful you're so welcome i want to know who you guys would set me up with and i just feel like spencer you're gonna have some good ideas for me oh yeah i feel like you need to return the favor and if you need some time to think about it that's oh like this episode or like get back i mean like if you have people now great if not mm. we can come back we can come back i just wanted to plant that little seed because you're good with this stuff hmm that's really challenging do you want someone normal or do you <laughs> she called us normal so her, her radar yeah. is all her. My normal parameters. do you want someone like uh, successful so in their own way or do you want someone famous like what's so the so i have said hard. i would love because i have one friend that's been asking me for 15 let years let me see a picture no you've already like you won't Ooh. remember but a couple times Ooh. under the influence you flirted with him oh, well, and that's he, no surprise and he remembers it to this day and asked me can uh, i see a photo of this man he needs to a, he's rebranding right now okay get back to me when yeah. the rebrand happens i knew you were gonna say he's yeah. rebranding he's been asking me to set him up we for need, 15 um, years father material okay, so as well. in my perfect mind uh, i don't want to date someone who's famous okay. but i do need to date i want to date someone successful because I don't want to be paying for someone. I just don't. I've dated guys before who don't have a lot of money and they expect me to pay for everything. And it's such a turnoff to me. I'm very traditional in the sense where like, I want the man to be the man. I'm into like really masculine men, but someone who's really in touch with their emotions. Okay, so, so he like, has to chop wood. The perfect man. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen him on TikTok. Yeah, me too. He live streams <laughs> from the woods. Um, yeah, he can and, chop uh, some wood, uh, fix some shit in a house. Are you okay to be a stepmom or do you want to Yeah, just I mean, because I have kids, I do feel like someone who has kids, there's just a level of understanding and I want someone to be good with my kids, obviously, too. Do they need to live in LA or near you or can they live anywhere? I'm open. I mean, obviously- It's like we... a board game now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like the box. The I think... is he? <laughs> <laughs> Are you making a human? Yes, please create a human for me. Uh, Nashville would be great, but he lived, in, uh, lived out here in LA. That'd be uh, fine, too, because I'm out here all the time. I mean, okay. You know, I just, yeah, it's We're it's hard out there. Them. Okay, we'll come back. All right. Great. Oh, um, well, yeah, this is pressure. It's, there's a lot of pressure. I didn't mean to put you on the spot, but we've got time. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. I love you guys so fucking much. I appreciate you being here. You. Thank you Thank so much. You. And then tell everyone where they can find you, because I know you guys just launched a new podcast. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you can find us on Spotify, Spidey's <laughs> 16th Minute. We're not giving up the fame yet. We're going to keep on going, baby. We're just going to keep Keep running it back. I For at love least one that. Thank you. You can also check out my Snapchat, Heidi Montag. Yep. Spencer. Oh, stream Spencer. Heidi's Spencer. album. On yeah. Spotify. yeah. Let's Over go. Over 1 million, 26,000 monthly listeners. That's Stop. right. Just hit 20 million you, on shit. one streams record. On one song. Okay. Hello. Famous in China. 20 Heidi. million streams a day in China. You should go yep. on tour Two billion I know Spencer's trying to get me. You We're should going to go on tour We're in China. We're going to China. I'm coming. We're going to, we have the hotel, one hotel in they China. They offered to put us up 
wait, you guys, we're let's going. do this. Let's film a documentary. Okay. Like, let's, we're going. I'm coming. All right. All right. Yeah. Oh, we'll find someone for you. Great. <laughs> In China. Yeah. Amazing. I can't wait for that. Oh, there's really uh, successful uh, people yeah. there. That, this is true. Yeah. This is true. In touch with his emotions yeah. and that's, manly. That's true. And as kids. Okay. <laughs> a lot of kids. No, not yeah. a lot of kids. I think they. Well, anyways, I'm not okay. digging right. myself Thank into a hole. Okay, I love us. you guys Good so much. You. Thank you. <laughs>